We're continuing on with these videos as planned, though something different might come out on Wednesday or Friday, depending on when I finish it. The fourth most voted option was Alyssa vs. Tatiana, of course, on season 5 and season 2 respectively. The correlation between the two is, I think, very obvious. They gave us one of the best lip syncs on All Stars 2 and Drag Race as a whole, when they also cemented their positions as fan favorites. Even though neither of them won All Stars 2, they sure as hell outperformed every one of the top 4 queens from that season, and in general, most other queens. Given that we're talking about regular seasons, this is the point system in place. They both won only one main challenge, and that's more or less where the similarities end. Alyssa won two mini challenges, Tatiana, only one. Alyssa's storyline was of an experienced, well-decorated pageant queen who didn't want to change much about her presentations because up until that point it worked for her. Whereas Tatiana came in as the youngest queen of her season, who performed barely three times before getting onto the show and only did drag for fun up until that point, so she was more open to critique and change, however she wasn't able to apply it all on the show. Either way, they were both part of B storylines of their respective seasons and gave us a couple of iconic moments. But then, on the other hand, Tatiana won the first ever Snatch Game while Alyssa's Snatch Game made Rue cancel immunities, so, you know. They both start off as safe in the first episode, both episodes' main challenge being the make an outfit out of something challenge. Tatiana is not part of the winning team in the second episode, where they had to dance around the pole and get people to buy something off of them, basically a main challenge where the performances can actually be measured and compared, while Alyssa, even though not being part of the winning team, individually performed very well in the lip sync extravaganza eleganza to earn herself a high placement. For the next three episodes, Episodes, they place the same. They go safe in the third, win the main challenge in the fourth, the balleting and snatch game respectively, while they both are low in the fifth episode due to their immunities. Alyssa did win the mini challenge in the fifth episode, so she got three points there instead of just two. The change in score reverts back to one in the next episode, where Tatiana places safe in the rock and roll challenge, while Alyssa is low in the can I get an amen cover thing challenge. They're both singing challenges, interestingly enough. Alyssa then is in the bottom two, three episodes in a row, with her final time lip syncing for her life against Coco and ended up in her getting eliminated. But she managed to win the mini challenge in that episode, so she ended season 5 with 23 points. Tatiana, much like Alyssa, was in the bottom two in episode 7 and 9, however, in episode 8, she was high with a mini challenge win. Episode 8 is the episode where Tatiana takes the lead finally, and then season 2 with 25 points, barely so beating Alyssa. Hey, squirrel friend! When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead, son. Baby, just hurt my feelings. Baby, just hurt my feelings. Baby, just hurt my... Just hurt my... just hurt my feelings. Yeah.